Hey guys, Wrath here. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can install vMenu into your 5M server. First of all, go to your browser, open it up, type in vMenu, and then first thing that pops up, right here, look to the right, click on releases, uh, scroll down to the most recent one, uh, vMenu zip, don't, not source code, get the zip. Okay, once you do that, you can open it up. Alright, we can now close this. Let's just open your actual server up. Um, and here, create a folder called vMenu. Okay, get all your files, drag them into there. We're not done with this. Um, next thing you want to do, go to config permissions, drag your permissions into server data. Okay, now we can go back, go back to server CFG. And here you want to start it, so we can do ensure or start whatever it is for you, vMenu. Okay, and here we will do exec permissions.cfg. You have to do this or it won't start, and now we're done. So now we can close this, and let's go over permissions. So, vMenu config will start with add-ons. So basically, you can have add-on weapons, add-on vehicles, add-on PEZ, add-on weapon components. So, it's just to each uh, category. Uh, when you access it through the menu in game, it will say add on peds. You can go there and whatever peds you added, you can spawn. So, if I wanted to add an add on vehicle, I could just copy this. Make sure you put a comma at the end unless it's the last one. If I had a vehicle I wanted to, that I had called Tesla, if the spawn code was Tesla, I'd put it like that and I could spawn it through the menu. And that's basically it. You do the same thing with all these. Okay, we can close this out. Locations. Locations basically just adds if you enable blips uh, through vMenu in game, then these will these are uh, the blips you'll see on the map. So basically, uh, you if you want to add a blip for players to see whoever activates the thing, basically you just can do that, copy and paste, and we can just do test or whatever, and then that's what they'll see if they uh, enable blips. And that's basically it. Very simple. Um, now let's go to permissions.cfg that's where the big um, chunk of the permissions are so uh, I'm gonna go over these one by one so this will probably take a little while um, if you want to uh, I will link the vMenu permissions documents down below so you can look at those one by one if you need to so um, basically uh, vMenu permissions I would not recommend touching this, just leave it, because if you touch it, then not everyone will be able to use it. So, um, staff only, if you only want staff, people who are defined as staff to use it, you just put it true. I'm going to leave it full so I can access it. Uh, okay, vMenu toggle key, I believe it's M by default, this is what you open up the menu with. No clip is F2, I believe, by default, and that is when you, uh, you click it and you can fly around the map. Um, keep... Uh, set v, uh, v menu keep spawn vehicles persistent basically if you want to uh, be able to check the replace previous vehicle uh, just uh, you can just leave it here and if you don't want to you can just put true and then they won't be able to disable it but I'll just leave it false okay uh, auto ban cheaters it's not 100% accurate so if someone does something they might not be cheating and they might still get uh, banned kicked whatever so it's up to you it's basically what it says. If you want to have the uh, banned cheaters, you just put true. This is the message they receive when they're banned. Log ban actions. Uh, you can just put true or false, whatever you want to do. And then it will pop up in the vmenu.log as it says. And you can go and access it in the vmenu folder. Log kick actions, the same thing as this. You'll find them right here. ELS is basically if you're using ELS for your sirens. Uh, you can do that true. If not, then you can put false in uh, if you're using a different type of thing. Um, uh, this is the... Um, okay, so if you go into the Rockstar uh, Editor button, it'll quit you from the session. And this is false, so true. And it's it's very self-explanatory. Uh, you just set it yourself. Uh, the server info. Server info is basically in the about section of the menu in game. This is what it'll display. So if I wanted to have this to say like hi, it'll display hi. You put your Discord or your 
uh, website right here, or your website goes here, your Discord or whatever goes here. Um, teleport to waypoint keybind. If basically you set a way uh, a waypoint to somewhere, you click this button, and it will automatically take you there if you allow that in your server. Um, set V menu disable spawning as default character. Uh, you can just put false, but that will make sure if you put it to true, they won't spawn as a default character, which is uh, the guy, the the skater, and some one other pet. So you can just set this to true if you wanted to. Uh, enable animal spawn. Keep that f false. It's really up to you. Animals are really buggy. I've had them crash a whole server before just from one person. So it's up to you to leave it whatever you want. So PvP mode. This is very simple. If you put it to zero, it doesn't affect anything. Uh, one, it will enable PvP. And two, it will disable PvP. Uh, so it's up to you. Uh, I'll leave that at zero because I have, if you have a, your own script to enable PvP. Um, I'm not really too sure what this means. Uh, so you can, you'll have to look at the information, but it shouldn't be too important. Player names. This is how far away you you uh, you can be before you can't see the player names above the head, and you can disable that via menu in game. Um, Disable uh, Entity Outlines tool uh, is basically in the developer section of the V menu in game. You can do that so you can see the outlines of entities. So, whatever it uh, lists here, it doesn't really matter unless you don't want people to be able to have access to the dev section. You can just leave that uh, false. Um, the default ban message is when you ban somebody, this is what they'll see. So if you wanted to if say you ban someone, this is what they'll see. So if you wanted to change it, you could do you have been banned, and then that's what they'll see. Uh, weather sync is basically, I mean it says right here to uh, disable weather sync, and that will basically make it so everyone they won't see the same exact weather as everyone else. It's it's still a little, it's a little bit buggy, but uh, that's basically what it is. Uh, dynamic weather is what it says automatic. So if you have it to um, false, it will stay this the weather you put it. If you have true, it'll automatically change uh, on the game, uh, depending on the game. Um, the number of minutes between the dynamic weather change. So basically, if it's sunny, and if you have this at 15, 15 minutes, it could change to uh, to uh, rainy. So if you wanted 20 minutes, you just put 20. It's pretty simple. Uh, current weather uh, sets the default weather type, so as soon as you spawn into the server, this is what it will set it as. So you can set it as clear, or you could do windy or whatever, and that's what it will set to. Um, our f okay, so uh, this is basically, the blackout mode is a mode that you can put on. It's basically just dis disables basically all lights, which includes vehicle lights and everything like that. So you can just false or true. Uh... So, this is, um, the weather change duration is basically, uh, the time it will take for the weather to change. So, if it's going rainy to sunny, it'll take about 30 seconds. If it's going, you know, snowy to clear, it'll take about 30 seconds. And it says, uh, must be between 0 and 45. So, don't go above 45, and don't go below 0. So, time options, same thing as, as this, um... So if you want to disable time sync, basically it'll display the time different. So uh, if it's night or day or anything like that, it'll it will, if you put this to false, it will disable it so everyone sees it the same and no one will see it the same. Uh, freeze time, if you want it to be frozen by default where it doesn't move, the time doesn't move, it stays day and doesn't go night, you can set that to true. Uh, in-game minute duration is basically, um, so, uh, the value is measured in milliseconds. Okay, it must be a positive number at least greater than, uh, 100. So, basically, how many milliseconds is an in-game minute? Uh, current hour, uh, default hour when you spawn into the server. Um, so, you can just basically pick, so, uh, you can put it to 10 hours, whatever. Um, okay, current minute. Same thing is up here, so if you you could put it to eight, eight minutes or something like that. Okay. Um, 
to the system time of the server. So whatever time the system time is, so the actual game is itself, this will sync to it. So you can leave that false or true, whatever you want. Um, okay, so now we're past all that. Now we're in the actual groups. So basically, I mean, it, it already says right here, if you have any uh, experience with ace permissions, it's about the same. So you, uh, you can make an, a group if you want called cop. Okay. Uh, and then just to add players. Um, Group.cop. And then there you go. Now they're added to the uh, cop group. And that's basically what it is. Um, same thing here. If you're adding a new group. Because uh, it, it won't under really understand unless you add it here. So add underscore principal. And then group dot cop, and that should work. Um, oh, sorry, you don't even need the add principal, but it already has one of the. There you go. Um, global permissions. So, what it says right here, if you don't want people, if you don't want your admins, whoever's listed on here, getting banned, and you just put uh, allow and, or kick. So a kick and a uh, ban. You can just leave that at allow. Um, so staff only. Uh, this will see. This will um, basically allow if you have it. Uh, the setting we've already gone uh, over. If you have that uh, set as true, then this is what you'll need to be able to let your staff use the menu. So you can just leave that at allow. Uh, allow anyone to use no clip. That's basically anyone can fly around using the F2 button, and you can just set that to false because you probably don't want that online player menu so I'm not really gonna go over every single one of these I'm just gonna go over uh, how you can disable or enable them so basically um, this uh, if you want to comment something out you just do a hashtag in front I mean you could also do false but I mean it's easier so if you ever want to allow it just delete it um, basically if you comment this out it basically makes it so that it goes off the permissions you've set. If you un if you uncomment that, then people will be allowed to do everything in the online players menu. So if you don't want them to do everything, you just leave it like that. This is if they can actually access the menu itself, the category. So if you don't want them to uh, access online players at all, you just comment that out. They can't access it. Um, this is how you add. If you want your moderator to be able to summon people. Then you have to do add underscore ace group dot moderator the permission that's actually right here and then allow uh, and then that's how they'll be able to do that so whatever you don't put here and if this is allowed for uh, people that aren't listed as moderators admins or any group then they'll automatically get that by default um, same thing with admin that you did right here is the same exact thing uh, this is the same thing same thing we've gone over you just if you don't want them to have these permissions. Just comment them out, but uh, you can just uncomment these if you want to, and now they can access everything right here. So um, they're going to be able to access everything. So you can just uh, comment that out, and now they can only access these things listed here. Same thing with vehicle um, options, vehicle spawner. So this is basically everything here is uh, the same, same way. Okay, here's weather. Only people listed as the moderator or admin will be able to uh, access the weather options. Uh, that's by default. Um, okay. Weapon options, same thing here. Uh, okay, now weapons. Uh, this this is going to be a little bit different. So right now, no one can, uh, they can access everything because uh, they're, they're uh, able to get everything if you don't want them to. You comment that out, and then uh, basically they'll only get whatever is not commented out here. So this is how it will be. Uh, now, even though this is commented out, they can't spawn at the menu. But if they have a loadout saved, or if they have an external menu, they will still be able to spawn it. Uh, and so you'll need a blacklist script for that. If you do need one, let me know. Uh, I will be able to provide you one. I just... Uh, I, I kind of worked on um, okay everything right here same thing and uh, yeah that's basically it voice chat if you don't want voice chat 
uh, you can just comment the whole thing out or, or just delete it, whatever is easiest to you, and this will not affect voice chat at all. So proximity will not be counted f uh, for vMenu. It won't show who's talking uh, unless you have an external script. So that's basically it for vMenu permissions. Uh, it's been a pretty long video because it takes a while to go over these things. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope this helped. Have a great day.